215, we head to Bucks County to pick up a little bud. We wrap with a group looking to redefine the corner store, check out a program challenging Philly youth to level up, and then it's your 215 flashback fave. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 215. I'm Mike. And I'm Breland, and we are hanging out in Ballot Pinwood, specifically the Ironworks of Pancoid Landing. And this is a really cool spot, it Mike. Is. It's been around since the 1850s, mm -hmm. and as the name implies, it used to be an ironworks factory. And the girders are still uh, here for the mid-1800s. They used to have a railroad that pulled up here. And we're right on the Schuylkill River, so they would offload, onload barges. They were putting the iron on the barges. Yeah, but this is now a really cool space oh, to yeah. hang out and eat. And you can walk. And there's all sorts of stuff you can do yeah. here. So we'll explore that in just a little bit. But first, our first story is beyond the 215. Ooh, where are we going? We go up to Bucks County to do something that we've never done, harvest hemp. <laughs> industrial hemp, it's still cannabis. If you could walk by and taste it and touch it and smell it. I just want to live inside there. It is cannabis. The THC content has to be below 0.3%. It's really all the same plant. It's just been bred in lots of different directions. We're a certified organic herb farm, and right now we are offering you pick hemp for the public who wants to make their own medicine. This one's really pretty. We're really just feeling it and smelling it, taking it all in. People love coming and harvesting their own hemp. Yeah. Oh, Husband. Okay. <laughs> and okay. This is my best friend, Callie. They bring their kids, take pictures. I mean, pe they, people make a, kind of a, an event out of it. The one over here yeah. smelled like grass. The one was she was picking grassy. smelled like a little peppery. They'll come out and they'll wander through and they'll meditate with each plant oh, yeah. and look for the right plant and which is amazing when that wind is coming down right and you get like all those plants blowing like right in your face it smells so good one of the things here that we can do is to cultivate that experience to cultivate that connection with plants and making people's own medicine Put the power of the plants back into your hands. We're gonna do two pounds. I plan on drying it all and curing it, and then using it to make some tinctures, some oils. I gave everybody a handout with step-by-step -step instructions on how to make an oil extract and how to make an alcohol extract. And those are ways you can kind of concentrate the cannabinoids to make uh, like a tincture or an oil that you can take before bed or for pain. I use it for a little bit of everything, you know, just the relaxation part of it. Um, you know, calming your nerves, stress. Some people resonate with hemp and they can take it whether they smoke it or they take a liquid extract of it and or they use it topically and it works really well. And then some people, they're like, I don't know, like, did it help? I work in construction, so I, I beat up my body a lot and it, it seems to really help with like aches and pains. The plants in medicine and herbal extracts affect everybody differently and uniquely. It is not a, a catch-all or a miracle or a fad. Um, if it works for you, like that's awesome. And if it doesn't work for you, try something different. The mission of our farm is to connect people to plants. If you can have that connection with harvesting your own hemp and taking that home and drying it and taking that and then making it into a liquid extract, which is super convenient and easy and portable, you have that connection throughout that process instead of just taking something that somebody gives you in a bottle. We have so much to learn about plant medicine, about cannabis, about our own bodies and how our bodies interact with plants. And so I think that it's just fascinating. Should we weigh this out? Two and a half. It is so surreal from growing up in the 80s in the just say no era and like drugs are bad to how have people standing in a field of industrial hemp that just looks like pot and it's just like, what? is this legal? Can I be here? Yeah. It's totally legal. You can totally be here. And we want to, yeah, just share that. It's exciting. So for more about Blue Sam and the products they offer, you can go to the website at the bottom of your screen. But mm -hmm. Mike, 
Living in Philadelphia, we know that there can be food deserts. Oh, but yeah. This is that you can't find healthy, fresh food, right? Yeah, but a cool thing about individual neighborhoods, a lot of times the focal point will be a corner store. Mm -hmm. Now, what if it could be a grocery store? This corner has been empty for years, and there's been very little access to food and community power within walking distance, and this is trying to bring people back. This building right here on 60th Street will become the first grocer, and it's a place, you know, that is working together with all of our neighbors to understand what's possible with our food system and what we wish we had in walking distance and to create it. My service here on Earth, while I'm here, I believe, is to help people and through food. You're looking, you know, here in, in the, the demoed out section of what will be the store, where you'll have the all-day menu, meal kits and smoothies, amongst other staple items and fruits and vegetables. It's important to me because I want to see people happy. I want to see people live longer. I want to see our, our kids running up and down the streets. There's a lot of kids that just don't eat. I've worked with people that, you know, kids, children that only eat in school. And then when they come home, they have chips and junk food to, to and that's not going to sustain them. What I'm going to bring to the table is different flavors, so that things explode in their mouth while they're eating it. We're on a mission to make eating well easier and to ensure that everyone here has access to the ingredients they need to live healthy and strong lives. We're a nonprofit where there are no owners. The owners are everyone who comes and participates every single day. Walking door to door, talking neighbor to neighbor, and asking. What do you want to see in your food system? What, is the, what are the current limitations and what do you wish? And the conversation kept coming back to is, I wish I had a hot, healthy, affordable meal, preferably something I can use EBT for. The community grocer really is a protest against broken policy. It's a rejection that there's an assumption that everyone has the space and the time to cook after they leave a grocery store. It turns out that federal policy limits retailers and recipients, you're not allowed to buy hot or prepared food with food stamps. And for a lot of us, that's, you know, really creates a, a tough challenge of what do I do and where do I go to get my next meal? We're able to, as a retailer, sell you our recipe meal kits where we did the chopping and the sorting and the marinating. And on the back half of this building is a separately run nonprofit commercial kitchen. And there'll be a full food lobby here that you can see in this rendering where you'll be able to trade the kits from the grocer for one that's hot and ready back here in this kitchen. This may be an empty space right now to y'all, but in my head, I already see what's going to be in here. We will have our stove, our grill, our hot table and cold table, fridges over here. We're just going to be pumping food out. Our customers are going to, you know, come in and I'll be, hey, Sue, hey, hey, Drew, hey, hey, Rodney, hey, whoever. You know, like that's the, that's the, the energy that we're going to have in this kitchen. How can we work together with neighbors from across generations to understand what the dream corner store needs to be, and let's build it. And so that's where we are right now. It's been a lot of love and passion from the community and hope, really. Everyone is going to have a complete, healthy, tasty, amazing meal. You shouldn't have to make a lot of money to get great food. Everyone deserves to have great food. So the community grocer is slated to open this coming summer. How it's cool. Be, wow, that's really nice. Yeah. Okay, when we come back after this commercial break, we're going to hook up with one of the best organizations in this city. Mm -hmm. We're going to level up, Philly. <laughs> Mike is really close to your heart. Yes, I love this pastor from West Philadelphia. He put together this organization called Level Up Philly, where he offers inspiration and guidance to at-risk oh, youth. Oh, what's up, kid? Everyone in Philly dances, right? Your most car-stealing, gun-shooting youngin is also a good dancer, you know? So just by us having the dance battles here, having all of them in one space, learning from one another, you know, they're, they're reconciling, and then they can't front when, they're, when this guy from a warring neighborhood is doing his thing, and, and, and the energy's going, before you know it, he's supporting the, the guy. Then, he, they, then they give each other that, then he jumps in, and, and then that carries out into the streets. 
I never forget, we had two opposite hoods in here, and it was beefing. And when they got in here, it was like a brother and sisterhood relationship. So now when they outside in the free world, it's like, dang, I can't do that, because that's like my brother now. Uh, who's up? Level Up is a grassroots holistic mentoring program. We serve 1,000 young people weekly from all over the city. We serve 1,000 weekly, ages 10 to 25. And you want something to munch on, let this change your life. My friends told me last year that I should go to Level Up with them. It's like really fun and it's life changing. How has it changed your life? Like I've used to been getting like a lot of, lo a whole lot of fights. Unk's daughter, uh, Ann, she had told me that I'm too pretty to fight, and really, I took them words for it. I like, I stay, I stay to myself. I don't get to to a lot of drama, like how I used to. Hey, this is my youngin' right here, Sanai. What's Just it? survived being shot in the chest. Tenth and Thompson, what, six weeks ago, was not expected to make it. Miraculously walked away from being shot in the chest, innocently shot. But we celebrate life here. We've had 20 young people shot in the last 18 plus months, five murdered in the last six months. You know, um, it's normal for us to keep gauze here, to even show them how to change out their wounds. It should not be like that. Being outside, you got to keep looking over your shoulder, left and right. When you get here, you don't got to worry about that because you safe. Did you think prior to coming here that there was some place you could go to where it would be this many young people and there wouldn't be any issues? This is the only place I can think of that we have a bunch of kids that barely get into fights here. Like, say if somebody see they op here, meaning, op meaning like, you don't like this person, you want to fight this person. When they see each other here, they don't think about fighting. Like, inside Love World, they don't think about fighting, cursing, arguing, nothing. They might play fight, but other than that, mm -mm. And how does that make you feel, though? Like, to it know that me, there's a space like that? It makes me feel happy and safe. Yo, dude, gonna be ready to ah. We give out suspensions here, just like a school, even expulsions. But we will allow you back if you come back humbly, even with an expulsion, because we don't believe in first, second, and third chances. We give them 99 chances. We just say, you got to just keep leveling up and not leveling down, you know? We teach them, not just like a school that'll say, hey, if you fight again, you're expelled. It's like, no, no, no. You call me unk. You call me unk. That makes you cousins or even brothers. You got to reconcile. Yo, the quarterback got to have an arm. We call it level up because we meet them with they, where they are, but we don't leave them where we find them. There's so many different hoods in here. As you got you got South Philly, you got North Philly, Southwest, West, Uptown. Like, you could be beefing outside of here, but come in here, I don't know how I don't do it, but everybody just a family. Like, eat together, dance together, talk, drink, play the games. I don't know, it's crazy. We have 81 schools represented. So that makes us, you know, really the largest, not just in the city, but the region and beyond, really. Most kids don't, it's not stable. Mm -hmm. So most kids going through a lot of, a lot of things at home and most kids can't afford stuff. So I come here, tell, uh, yeah, like, look out for the young boys. I'll cut their hair. Our youth are in a crisis. They're in the middle of a war. You know, Daily UK Mail released a study that a young black male in Philadelphia and Chicago has the same stress level as a soldier on the front lines of the Afghan war. You know, um, hmm, make a good show that. People wonder why I take so many pictures with them. Because I don't know if I'm going to see them next week. You know? Our youth in the city, they feel they have nowhere. They feel they have no one. They're suppressing everything. And then what happens? What happens when you shake a bottle? An event happens. Boom, looting everywhere. An event happens. Boom, flash mob and fighting everywhere. All of our young people have gun violence, PTSD. You know, they're, they're getting triggered. When I came in here, it was no bad vibes. Like, I, I sense bad vibes on people. I ain't get no bad vibes. So I'm like, oh, all right, I'm chilling. We eat good meal. Dance a little bit. Free games. You're out there.
PlayStation. And here getting cussed by barbers. This is this whole lot. Whole lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to sign up for Level Up Academy? Money, man. Money. All right. One, two. All right. Do not leave. Make sure we sign you up. That's on Wednesdays. I think I uh, what's going on, Danger Mouse? The mission was to touch the city. The mission was to perhaps show the city something they've not seen before. You know, to serve hundreds of people home-cooked meals. Basically take everything and bet on the youth. You know, some bet on romance, some bet on horses, some bet on real estate. I decided to bet everything on Philly's neglected high-risk youth. And they want it. They want a safe space, they want to grow. They want change. So that's why I really like Level Up because it brings bonds, it brings connections, it brings family. It don't bring beef. It ends it. It keeps the animals out the street. It's really saving the community. So it's time for us to stop playing the blame game and just, when paramedics show up, it's not who's right or wrong, it's who's hurting. Our young people are hurting, you know what I mean? So here at Level Up, we're just loving on them, celebrating life. The Level Up Phillies received national recognition for all their incredible work. And for more information, you can go to the website at the bottom of your screen or just stop in on a Thursday for some inspiration and, of course, a good plate of food. Tell me, considered one of the best chefs. Well, I was going to say the world. Will you go with that? No. Okay, I the country. No. Definitely the country. Nick, come on. I appreciate that. Thank you. No, Congratulations that. on this place. This is called Lark. Yep. And the one downstairs is the landing. The right? landing kitchen, yep. And they're both yours. What's the concept in this one? This is, uh, we started off as more of like coastal Mediterranean because yeah. everybody needs kind of like a catchphrase for a restaurant, but uh, it's definitely very Italian. Oh. Yes. Before we talk about the food, let's talk about this room. What, was this part of the Ironworks building? Yeah. Part of the Ironworks building, so the, we actually kept the original frame of, of the original Ironworks yeah. and kind of stuck a hotel right in the middle of it. Well, I like the little seating area up in the front. We're on the seventh floor, you got beautiful Nick. views, we got a nice well, terrace. You can almost see the buildings of Center City. That's Maniunk over there, yep. you got Roxborough and beyond. So right on the river. It's nice. It's so, calming. Again, okay, Italian? Yeah, for the most part. We do all of our own handmade pastas, a lot of okay. like simple grilled fish, and yep. a lot of seafood. Um, and what's the landing about? Landing's more cafe driven. During the weekend, it's all like puppies and kids. So it's like a really great burger, a fried chicken sandwich, avocado toast, smoked salmon yeah. toast. Uh, we, you know, some pastries, really nice coffee from Rival Brothers. Everybody what are the hours? Here we are open every day except Monday from, for dinner right. from five until close, probably about 10 o'clock. Uh, downstairs at, at the landing, we're the same. We're open every day except Monday. During um, the week, we close at 6 p.m. Okay. And during the weekends, we close. Fridays and Saturdays, we close at 10 p.m. We have, like, fire pits and stuff outside that oh, people... That's nice. People go and play bocce and cornhole and just kind of, like, drink. During the summer, we have a... Um, we have what's called the shack outside, which is literally just serves ice cream and cocktails. Oh. So we get a pretty decent crowd they for that. that. Yeah. I can um, live off. That's two combinations. Yeah. <laughs> ice yeah. cream and cocktails. Yep, that's it. Good to see you. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you again. so much. I appreciate you being here. Uh, more of the 215 when we come right back. This is a 215 flashback fave. My name is Anna, Anna Thorne. I am a graphic designer and I do illustrated memories. Feeling in a blanket, yeah. <laughs> Just when you walk around the city and you see like what represents Philadelphia, which is what my main focus is. That's what I use to, as my inspiration, like what, what things I hear, the, what people say. When you order a cheese, it's like, with, what, with or without? And you're like, what? And like, yo, that's such a Philly. It's like, you know you're in Philly when somebody's like, yo. That's why I feel like people connect so much with some of my products, because it brings them a memory that they want to take with them. So it, that's kind of like my main focus right now, like with my illustration. Philly people are proud of being here and proud of being from Philly. Common things, just people, I guess they see them on an illustration and they're like, huh, like they laugh about it and they like it. It's like the parking ticket, for example. That's an everyday thing that if you live in Philadelphia, you probably had one at some point in your life. As a matter of fact, when I moved here, the first week I got a ticket, it was like my welcome, I guess. To be frankly, I don't know, it's just uh, 
<laughs> I don't, this is how I picture him, like, chill. Like, oh, he's in Philly, he's fine. He's around the all the Philadelphia items, I don't know. <laughs> well then, let's go fishing. This came because I started fishing. I felt like something cool, you know, the real, I'm like, oh, what is this? I don't know, and I just started reading in and this huge thing like comes out and I'm like, what the? Everybody's like, wow, that's like a huge flounder. And believe it or not, that this is how it started. <laughs> I realized that people really like my style and uh, they always say like how fun it is. And I don't know, like, from there, it just, it never stopped. Like I just kept going, kept going and it, it evolved to what it is right now. <laughs>215. We want to, of course, thank Ironworks at Penn Coyd Lens yes. for letting us hang out today. Mm -hmm. And please come over here and check it out. Yes. Come over to this little spot here. Isn't it nice? It's beautiful. You got the bridge, <laughs> you got the Schuylkill River in the background. It's so nice. It's beautiful. Come on. Guys, we'll see you next week. Same place, same time. Mm -hmm.